Hi guys, welcome back to Rad's Retreat, my little home of wood turning you might say. Now then, uh, we did a previous video regarding various oils that I use for uh, finishing my wood turnings and <clears throat> this would be the second video regarding oils that I use. I'm quite a big fan of oils as finishing products. They're easy to apply, they, uh, they look good on the wood. Uh, I just I just really like them. I, I, you know I like the uh, the effect that they have on the wood. Anyway let's get started. We'll start with the front, front ones. This is raw linseed oil. Now, personally, I don't use it on its own. I only use raw, raw linseed oil to mix with other oils to make my own custom oils. Um, the trouble is, raw linseed oil takes an eternity to, dr to dry, if it in fact does ever dry. Um, so that's why I don't use it. Now, when I mix it with other oils that have got dryers in, they, those dryers also help dry the raw linseed oil. So, I don't use it a great deal, but every now and again I will make up a custom oil for a specific application. So that's what it gets used for. Okay? The next oil is an oil that I think every wood turner should have in there shack or or finishing a repertoire one might say boiling seed oil is a great oil um there's one or two woods that work really well with boiling seed oil uh silver birch birch in general works fantastic but boiling seed oil seems to show birch off like no other oil does somehow it, it it seems to penetrate deeper than most oils and it really shows off the wood to its fullest um, you can really it enables you to look into the wood there is a word for it that I forgot at the moment but no doubt if I forget about it it will come to me but anyway boiling seed oil it's also got other uses as well. You can use it for applying uh, super glue as a finish to pens. It's got quite a few uses around the shack. So uh, I, I think every wood turner should really have a bottle of this in. And it doesn't have to be high priced ones either. You know, this is a low priced one, £3.35. So what's that? About $5 there for that bottle and uh, it works a treat next up let's look at this tongue oil okay now you've got to be careful with this this says tongue oil but it's not pure tongue oil okay it's mixed with other ingredients dryers and such so just be careful just because a can says tongue oil on it doesn't mean it's going to be pure tongue oil. Now this other can here at the front this is Liberon pure tongue oil so you know it's pure tongue oil otherwise they can't put it on the they can't put pure tongue oil on the can. Now it's not cheap oil as oil goes this is seven pounds seven UK pounds so that's gonna be probably 13 12 13 dollars for 250 milliliters now tongue oil if you've never used it before it's a very hard wearing oil um, it's very resistant to water um, fruit acids it's resistant to but it does take a long time to dry you'll dry an item off and you'll think it's dry you'll come back a couple of days later and you'll see a little 
you know little pinheads of of where the oils ooze back to the surface again so it does take a long long time to dry but it, it does give a good hard wearing finish um, it also darkens wood as well so if you've got a light wood if you put pure tongue oil on it it will darken that wood so that's another thing to bear in mind all right next up is one of my favorite oils chestnut finishing oil now i've tried several finishing oils liberon finishing oil chestnut fi finishing oil and a few others and of the ones i've tried chestnut is the one i've settled with um, seems to be for me it's you know it, it it suits my purposes the best might not do for you but for me it does um, it dries fairly quickly it doesn't darken the wood too much it will darken it slightly but not too much um, if you only put a few coats of it on you'll get a satin effect if you build up you know five six seven eight or, or more coats you will start to get a uh, a gloss finish appearing but uh, basically i use this i'll put three four or more coats on and then uh, generally over the top of this i'll apply carnauba wax which is applied via a, a rotating buff or a wheel um, via the Beal buffing system but it's an excellent oil I don't know if it's available in America in the United States I'm not sure but it is a good oil keep an eye out for it right the next oil lemon oil this stuff used to be really 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 expensive and I'm glad to say it's come down in price quite a lot um, when you first apply it to your work you'll get a lovely fresh lemon smell and that smell will stay with your work for maybe up to a couple of months it will eventually wear off but uh, it does give a lovely you know if you're if you're making a a bowl or whatever for a, a loved one if you if you finish it with this it, it'll make you know when they look at it they'll be able to smell that lemon smell as well um, the only problem is it leaves your work matte it will not build to a gloss or a satin sheen it will be a matte finish don't use a great deal of it but every now and again i do use it moving on this is a new wax i've only used it what well about two or three times hard wax oil um, when you first put it on if you, if you if you put it on and leave it 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 will develop a very shiny gloss coating which to be quite honest looks terrible but if you then work at it with some zero 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 wire wool you can mat it down to a satin sheen then it looks okay but it's not a wax that i will be uh, sorry it's not an oil that i will be using a great deal i'm not very impressed with it others might be i'm not i think it's more intended for for covering uh, floors you know um wooden floors and stuff but for wood turners i don't really think it's got much of much of a use right guys i'll end this video there those are just some of the uh, some more of the oils i should say that i use my most used oils are chestnut finishing oil boiled linseed oil and pure tongue oil the rest I only use every now and again. Right guys, I'll end it there. 
and uh, the next video we'll have a look at something else to do with finishing right i'll catch you later guys thanks for watching i hope you'll watch the next one take care guys bye bye